back up to the States, went to the hospital, was told that I had kidney failure and needed a transplant. My sister volunteered a kidney. Something we need to do more as people call it. Kidney disease is very prevalent among us. And when it comes time for somebody to have their family members tested, to donate, we got all kinds of excuses. Oh, I don't take my, I'm taking that kidney to the grave. Oh, oh anybody got me. <laughs> Even heard some Christians say, I want to be whole when I go to meet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> live with one kidney. My sister's kidney saved my life. But it didn't come overnight. I was taken into the operating room to get a kidney transplant. I woke up with no kidneys at all. I had cancer in both my kidneys. Found by the grace of God. Because the surgeon was suspicious of something he saw. He said I could leave it alone or I could take the kidneys out and biopsy. He saw it in one kidney. I ended up with no kidneys. He said, you had cancer in both your kidneys. That's the first thing I heard waking up from that scene. We could not do a transplant because we don't know if that cancer is spread. You have to go on dialysis. And you know what my response was? It wasn't, oh, for me, what? It was praise God. But we had no clue that I had cancer in my body. Praise God I had cancer. He found it, he took it out, and I emphasized that D on had. And in my mind, that cancer was gone. I said, they may want to wait a year to see if it's spread. I know that cancer was gone, but God would not have moved that surgeon to take out both my kidneys and it was not for a cure. The cancer was gone, but I went through hell for 15 months. I was as sick as you can be and, and survive. And that's the detail of my autobiography. I was in a grand mall. I had grand mall seen for me in cold for four days. My mother was told I had brain damage. That's what the MRI looked like. The prayer took care of that. Prayer and faith got me through. And I know everybody gets to church at least one time. Mm. Somebody dragged me to church. <laughs> I got dragged to church every Sunday. My daddy was a deacon, my mother sang to the choir. We could hang out Saturday night party, get home from 6 o'clock chasing the sun, but we were going to church. <laughs> and somewhere along the way, even though I dropped church, I had the first opportunity when I went to college, no church, no school, no church. When I needed faith, it was there. And that's why I was able to say, praise God, I had cancer, you took it out. Faith is the reason I'm here right now. Faith and prayer. Prayers of others when I was too sick to pray, too depressed to pray. Other people who prayed for my survival. I've had a kidney transplant now for 20 years. Never know if anything was ever wrong with me. I was 98 pounds. They you know who short look at. I was 98 pounds at my sickest moment. No kidding me. But I'm here today for faith. I'm here to live out my promise. To use the talents God gave me. But you can't waste these talents. And I am still an orthopedic surgeon. I see primarily people in the office. And I'm in the process of building a medical school and a hospital in the West Indies. Amen. So step into your greatness. It's inside of you. You know when you disappoint somebody. You know when you disappoint yourself. You know when you're not doing your best. Take advantage of the education you're getting right now. Shine. And don't let anybody tell you that that's not cool get A's and B's, you, you tell them you'll visit them in prison. <laughs> but you get your grades, and you do your best, and you develop those talents that are inside of you, God's gift. You will succeed. 